Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. Uh, today little old mail, so I will just make a faceless video on this. Uh, we will discuss a topic, very important uh, control basically that we use while developing Power Apps Canvas app. And uh, we, that control is uh, a slider control. How we can use this slider control? I will show you an example. But before that, uh, what is this sli slider control? This is basically a control uh, that will allow user to select a value from a range uh, so they can slide it and the value will uh, appear somewhere if you want to use it so basically that's a range that you can uh, provide and this is a very uh, useful control in terms of uh, like the ui to uh, make a good ui or the user interface uh, for the users right so uh, what exactly we are trying to do a demo here so if you'll see here i'll uh, on the button i'll create just a collection so that we can bind this and uh, now you can see here here uh, the product is there and the available quantity is there and the uh, quantity uh, we will decide uh, based on that uh, whether the buy button will come or not available button will come and on this case uh, when user will uh, like user will select this as the quantity that they want to buy and uh, based on that it will show you exactly uh, you know whatever the uh, options are there so let's say user selected 51 so of course this uh, this one is 40 available so uh, that means it's not available. So there's something like that we can uh, make it here. And now, uh, so for this, what I'll do here is I will just open uh, our Power Apps. So if you'll see here, this is the demo. I'll just close it. Um, and then, uh, okay. By the way, if you want to learn SharePoint, then you can think of joining the our academy on this. You will get a lot of courses on this which are related to SharePoint development, Power Platform, SPFX, all these things. We have a Power Platform course, uh, Power Automate, Power Apps and uh, you know Power BI. But uh, still I am now uh, making this course if you can see here the third one and uh, it will be available very soon. I am working on it. That's already live and regularly uh, like almost daily I am adding content to it. So uh, now currently available on this to $49, you can think of buying it because now what we are doing is we are going to add a few products to it. So what will happen is if you are a working professional or if you are a uh, you know, person who is looking out for a job, then that projects will or the products will be helpful for you. For example, let's say we will uh, add a app such as uh, you know the leave request app something like this so you will get a complete idea about it so if you i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at it and those product those products i'm talking about those are all production level uh you know products so understand that way now what i'll do here is i will uh, go and open make.powerapps.com um, so in this what will happen is uh, we will create a blank app from the scratch. I'll click on create and then you can see blank app. I'll just quickly uh, give a name for it. So I will say slider demo something like this and tablet layout. I'll click on create. Now what we'll do here is I uh, will add a couple of controls into this quickly uh, and then uh, we will see the, uh, we'll add the logic here, right? So first thing what I'll do is I will just add a button here. Uh, why button because uh, on the button control we want to uh, you know populate our uh, the data on it so data means the collection that from where we will bind it and in this particular case yeah of course i am binding it from uh, all the data will come from the collection so i'll just go to the text property i will say bind uh, product something like this and uh, so you can see it here right so now it's coming as binding products and on this uh, if you we'll go to the on select property uh, we have the collection let me just open the collection here if you look at this this is the collection where we have a product name column and then available quantity and price three columns are there clear collect this is actually the syntax uh, for creating uh, you know a collection I, if you don't know about it i'll put a link uh, where you can uh, check how we can work with collection so what i'll do here is i will put in this uh, on select so if you'll see here now our product is here on this right so um, now how it will create it so if you actually just select all and click on the button uh, the button click will happen and then it will create the collection how you can verify it if you go to the variables and then collections you can see here right so this is our data now so data is there now next what we'll do here is i'll go and add a uh, slider on this so i'll just select slider uh, 
this one you can see it here all right and just to make little bit easier for us to read i'll just uh here right and uh, then uh, i will add uh, a text label so that we can see what value you know whenever we are doing what value it is coming so i'll go here and i'll add a text label so i'll just take it here now this one uh, you can give max value uh, so if you'll see here now this is the max value you can see right and mean value max value you can give those uh, things on, on this next what i'll do here is i'll go to the text property of this and uh, we will uh, take this as slider one because by default the control name is will come as slider one dot value so uh, what will happen is now if we'll just go here i can see what is selecting right so you can see here the value is coming over here now it is coming uh, out of uh, you know 100 is the max value next what we'll do is i'll add a gallery control here so i'll say uh, in a vertical gallery i'll add it so you will see here i've added a vertical gallery and i'll select the product uh, collection that we created and you can see this is how it is coming so if you'll just go here uh fools now you see here image uh fine it is whatever is coming but then there is product name and uh you know subtitle one also coming as product name so here we'll see available quantity right and if you want additional columns that also you can add it now on this what we are going to do now is uh so if you'll run it now you see here right nothing is happening even if you will do this right um i will give a button on this so i'll select this uh the first item basically so if you'll go here uh, you know the gallery and then you select the first item now you see here the first item is selected and on this i will go and add a button because that button should come uh for uh you know for all the items so now you can see here i have added the button so um now on this on select what will happen uh, that's a different thing but what we'll do now is we will try to uh add the logic on this right so now on this what we will do is uh we will write our formula so what is the what will be the formula like where we will write uh basically we will write on the uh text property because we want change the text property of this particular uh, uh, button so now if you run it it will show button uh, if you see here now it is button even if i'll go here and uh, i'll go to the text property uh, if you'll go here the text property i'll change it to let's say buy so now if you'll see here uh, all the thing will become buy so if you'll see all these things are buy but what we want is uh, let's say I select 75 now. This should come as unavailable or not available, right? So that thing we will change. So I'll say I select this button and the text property. We will need to write a if condition here. So what the if condition will be? So if um, so if you'll see here uh, this item dot available quantity. If it is greater than equal to uh, the value. So which value? The value of the slider one dot value so you see here this value if it is greater than then you say that the text will come as by else it will come as not available so if you can see here now this is what is the uh, logic i wrote now if i'll run it here now you see here 75 only this item is saying it is available all other things are here it is 80 so it is coming as uh, buy but if i'll just change it little bit you can see it here the moment i'll change which whichever the condition it will satisfy then those uh you know the button text is changing right you can see it here right so yes so this is how uh you know we can work with the slider control and uh, you know do check out the training course which i provided and also if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel so that whenever i'll make videos on this technologies may, mostly i make videos on microsoft power platform uh, sharepoint uh, you know your power apps power bi power automate spfx all these uh, technologies so you will get notification on that thank you and i will see you in the next video